Ladies and gentlemen, her. It's similar to the banana nut bread at Starbucks. Hello my loves and welcome to day 14 of Vlogmas. Today, guess what we are doing? Today, we are baking. As you've noticed, I have a sweet tooth. I have some ripe bananas here. And what better way to use them than bake banana bread. I love banana bread. I love banana pancakes. I love banana granola. I love everything with banana, chocolate, peanut butter flavor. Before we continue with the video, I just want to quickly introduce myself and welcome you to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here a while, welcome back. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. It helps this community grow and I appreciate you in advance. Without further ado, let's get started. How do they say that word, further ado? I don't even know the real word. I'm just like reciting things I hear. <laughs> I have my little recipe already written down in the journal. So what we are going to need, we're just going to follow instructions so that I don't forget anything. Let's start with the dry ingredients. Two cups of almond flour. Feel free to use whichever flour you would like. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. I don't have baking powder, so I think I'm going to put two half teaspoons, which makes it a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda is always very tricky. It's not full, it's just a little bit. Next, I'm going to add some cinnamon and nutmeg. Mix everything together with a fork. The nutmeg had some lumps. Put that aside. Now it's time for the wet ingredients. Let's use some of these bananas. We need two. Oh damn, they're so ripe. Oh my god, I need to save the others too. Okay, let's put them in the fridge. Next is just mash it up. If you have a blender, this is when it would come in handy or if you have a potato masher, it would work perfectly well for this. If you do not have, use a good old fork to mash up these bananas. This is what my consistency looks like. I'm now going to add apple cider vinegar, which is something that I learned about a couple of weeks ago when I did this video of the pancakes. I added uh, apple cider vinegar and there is this thing that apple cider vinegar does when it's in touch with baking soda. It just makes it a little bit more fluffy. Let me just say, I think it helps, especially because I don't have baking powder. That's my theory. I don't know if it's true. And I'm not measuring again, sorry. So I just put just a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I work as I put things back. I hate this place being messy because it's a studio apartment. Let me tell you, it's so easy to mess this place up. Just putting one thing in the wrong place, it's over. Okay, this recipe also calls for maple syrup, but personally, I believe that bananas are sweet enough. So what I like to do, or what I'm going to do today is because maybe they are actually you know what maybe I don't need it because I have extra chocolate chips to add in here this recipe is similar to if you like Starbucks it's similar to the banana nut bread at Starbucks so if you want a healthier version this is definitely an option I'm just going to add a little just that much add one tablespoon of vanilla extract Okay, you guys, I eyeball a lot of things and a lot of times it so happens that I can tell different quantities by just looking, especially if I'm doing the things on my own. Oh, for the dry ingredients, I forgot to put a pinch of salt, but I'm going to put it in the wet ingredients. It doesn't matter. Just a pinch of salt. Now, the baking soda, what it does is it brings out that little salty side of this and the apple cider vinegar brings out the tangy part of the bread. I don't know if you guys ever notice that with your taste buds if you're eating bread it's not entirely one taste it, you test the fermentation and all that stuff so with the salt and apple cider vinegar it's supposed to kind of mimic that whole process at least that's what i think next is eggs <laughs> Right, after mixing the wet ingredients, now we are going to start adding the dry ingredients to it slowly. 
a bit oops at a time and we fold I forgot the freaking coconut oil. Let's put it in right now. It's because it wasn't right in front of my face. It's been warming the whole time, but it's never too late. I have a quarter cup of coconut oil. It was supposed to go in with the wet ingredients. And now for the nutty chocolatey touch, which is my favorite, just add some chocolate chips and nuts of your choice. I'm adding peanuts because it's what I have, but you can add walnuts, pecans, almonds, whatever it is you like, just fold, keep folding. I learned this trick that you just do this and mark each of the corners. When you mark the corners, what you do is cut the paper in each and every corner. I don't know if you can see, like that. Doing this helps this go in very quickly and it's much easier to get the bread out. The next part is just adding the butter to Oh, I didn't preheat the oven. Oh my god, wait. Oh, I know why because it was going to make noise. We already have some chocolate chips on top, but this is going to make a big difference in decoration. Even my phone agrees. All right, folks, let's wait for the bread to get ready. I cannot wait to see what it's going to look like. Ladies and gentlemen, ha. Huh. Oh damn, girl, you look nice. I left it in a little longer because I like my sides burned. If you've been here a while, you know I like charred stuff. So this is the bread. This is the most good looking bread I've ever seen or ever made. I mean, check this out. What? We have to check if it's ready all the way. So I'm just going to put a toothpick and if it, woo, it came out dry, when it comes out dry, it's ready. So let's let this cool for a bit. Yo, I can't stop eating this bread. I feel like it's so yummy. It's so delicious. Oh my god. I felt like having something sweet, so I decided to make it since my bananas were going bad. Every time I make banana bread, it's a different recipe, and today's recipe is top notch. It's the best so far. You guys have to try it for yourself. Let me know if you try it. Please come back to this video and let me know in the comments down below. Or if you try it, please tag me on Instagram because I'd like to see your creations. Feel free to put whatever you want. Some seeds, some, I don't know, pumpkin seeds, whatever it is that you want. I wasn't feeling that today, but this almond, what should I call it? It's almond flour banana bread or almond flour banana cake, whatever that is. But Yo, this recipe is, you, you have to try it. Please try it. Um, yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you try this recipe, please come back and let me know in the comments down below. As always, do not forget to stay motivated, be patient, to rush the process and spread the love. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Mwah.